Hi, I'm Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville, Tennessee, and thanks for joining us back. Well, today we have the Panasonic PX270, and this is the uh, next generation in Panasonic small form factor cameras. Uh, the next generation as uh, far as the 170s, the, the HPX 250s, 255s. Uh, this is a new and improved version of that, and what Panasonic did is they went to the users uh, that use these smaller cameras and they asked them, what can we do to make this a better product? And so based on that feedback, uh, all that has come together into what is now the PX270. So we're gonna talk about some of those features today. Uh, now the first thing that struck me on this camera was the viewfinder. The viewfinder looks fantastic. It is a OLED viewfinder and you get some advantages with OLED. First of all, there's no lag time uh, in the viewfinder. You get a nice sharp crisp image and the color tones are very accurate with OLEDs. Uh, underneath the OLED you have a nice very uncluttered menu here. Uh, you have the menu button, a little joystick where you can move around the menus and get to what you need to. And you also have some large playback buttons here so when you're in playback mode you can get to that access your clips very uh, easily very quickly um, moving on the, the one of the biggest complaints about the camera was just the general stability i mean they're small cameras but they're still pretty heavy uh, lots of stuff coming in and out of the back uh, so panasonic took all that feedback and they came up with a way that you can operate this camera uh, in a much more stable environment and they basically accomplished this by moving a few things around first of all what you'll notice is all of the BNC ports have now been moved over to the side. We have our SDI output, we have time code and gen lock, all now on the side instead of the rear. Uh, you have uh, your XLR inputs, one up here on the front for um, a shotgun mic, and your second input is also here on the side, so it comes off. And, the, and the, uh, the purpose is so that you can take the camera, put it up against your body, and operate it in a very uh, much more stable position than we're, we're used to. Now, on the back side, there's still some I.O. ports, but they're items that we normally would not use in an ENG uh, application if we were out shooting in the field. Uh, those are uh, the USB ports, uh, the HDMI, and uh, there's an RJ45 uh, LAN adapter here as well. All those things we typically wouldn't be used while we're shooting, so those are safely tucked away here in the back. Also, you'll notice the battery is flush mounted into the camera. Actually, it's reduced back a little bit, so that battery is tucked up in there. It's not going to get in your way. Now, so if you're back here shooting uh, up against your body, nice and stable, uh, if you need to make adjustments on the fly, the advantage with this camera is that we can now do that uh, by holding our left hand here. Our, thumbs, uh, our thumb can access all of the user buttons right here on the side. You have your ND uh, switch, and also if you're used to running shoulder-mounted cameras, you'll uh, be very comfortable the way Panasonic has designed uh, this here. It matches almost identical to all large cameras. You have your gain, you have your AB and preset white balance, and your mode check uh, switch configured just like they would be on a shoulder-mounted camera. Uh, the front audio level is also controlled right here, uh, and your menu button. You also have three ways that you can start, stop, and record. Your, uh, there's a button here on the front, uh, you have one here on the top of the handle and your traditional uh, thumb button here on the back. Uh, now let's talk about the inside of the camera. We have uh, the fantastic 22 by lens that was introduced with the HPX 250s and 255s. Fantastic lens. Uh, also has a dust cover built in there as well. Uh, inside now though we have a much more improved one third inch CMOS chip. Now what this uh, helps on this camera is that if you're shooting in dark environments you get a much more improved image which, with much less uh, noise than we traditionally have, uh, especially dealing with smaller imagers. So that's going to be one of the biggest uh, uh, improvements in the video are going to be the new CMOS sensors. Uh, moving on, uh, Panasonic with this camera has introduced the new AVC Ultra Codex. What this does is gives you a lot more flexibility. You can maintain full raster HD, but you have uh, different sizes of clips depending on what your requirements are. There is a 12 megabit, a 25 and a 50 megabit per second codec called the ABC Long G. Uh, you also get the broadcast quality 100 megabit ABC Intro 100 and the uh, older traditional DVC Pro HD. Now, if um, quality is what really matters to you and you really want the cream of the crop, you can opt for the paid upgrade to the 200 megabit ABC Ultra. Uh, again, that's the best that's uh, available. It doesn't come standard on the camera. You do have to, to upgrade to that, but if uh, quality is what matters to you, that's an option that's available to you in this camera. Uh, now, uh, some more technology innovations that Panasonic is introducing with this camera is the Micro P2. Now, uh, many of us have used P2 for years, and if you're upgrading from a current P2 camera, you'll still be able to use this camera because you have your traditional P2 slot right here in the back. But what this camera uh, has introduced is the new Micro P2. What this basically is, is P2 in the form factor of an SD card. So very tiny um, and uh, with the same reliability that we're all used to with traditional P2. 
Uh, you have two slots here so that you can uh, roll over to your second card if you fill the first one up, or you can do a simultaneous record. If you want to archive one and hand off one to your client, you'll be able to do that here. Um, now finally, I'm going to mention one thing that's probably my favorite feature of the camera, and if we take this little cover off right here on the side, we have an access point to our USB 2.0 uh, slot, and you have the option of a Wi-Fi adapter or a 4G adapter. Now what this allows you to do is over the network, you can uh, control some features of the camera, you can look at your proxy clips, look at the metadata attached to that, and you can actually transfer those clips to your destination, whether it be a, an edit computer or anything else. Um, also with that 4G, I could imagine that if you're a new ZNG shooter and you're out in the field and you're gathering that, that footage, uh, you don't need a microwave or an uplink truck. Uh, you'll be able to use that 4G card and your editor back at the station can start looking at those proxy clips uh, in almost real time. And so that gives you a huge advantage over your competition. Uh, so that to me is one of the uh, coolest new innovations that Panasonic has introduced. And, you know, and there's so much more about this camera that we don't really have time to go into, but if you have any questions or want to learn how you can get your hands on one of these uh, PX270s from Panasonic, give us a call, 1-877-81-TAKE-1. You can also reach us by email at mail at take1.tv. Thanks so much. We'll see you again soon.